takes teamwork to do anything in life. So I'm a natural born point guard and point guards, our responsibility is to make people around us better, is to know their strengths, to know their weaknesses, to give, to lift, and just to leave things better than when you got there. I've realized something as little as 20 basketballs or footballs or a couple basketball goals or something like that donated to an agency can make such a huge impact on the relationship between the, the cops and the kids in a time where we know it's strained in a lot of parts of the country. So, I am Nancy Lieberman. I am a Basketball Hall of Famer. I was the second coach in the NBA with the Sacramento Kings, female coach in the NBA. And Nancy Lieberman Charities, uh, everything that we do is connected to my life. I was a poor kid from a one-parent family growing up in New York City. No father, no food, no heat, no electricity. And we were one grandparent away from food stamps. And I promised the good Lord that if he made me special and he gave me a chance to be somebody, that I would help other people. Uh, we call it a dream court because it was my dream to be on a court. Nobody profiled me. They didn't say I was a little white Jewish redheaded girl. They just accepted me. And I felt really comfortable and really protected between the lines. We have 53 of these, including this court here in Marathon today, which we're honored and blessed to be able um, to open in partnership with the Basketball Cop and his foundation. And we're doing this with police all over the country. And in 2018, we're gonna open 18 to 20 more Dream Courts. So we feel very blessed. So I'm, I just love that I'm here. So my name is Bobby White. I'm a police officer in Gainesville, Florida and founder of the Basketball Cop Foundation. And today we're out here in Marathon Florida in the Keys, uh, opening up a brand new Nancy Lieberman Dream Court for the Marathon Rec Center um, here, in, here in Marathon. You know, my foundation has, is basically acts as a resource for police officers all over the country um, for whatever needs, through basketball, through other means, acts as a resource to connect their cops with kids in their communities. We're super excited. Um, we're hoping that this generates a, a lot of attention to what Anthony's doing here at the rec center and maybe get him more resources and people wanting to help. He, I talked to him and um, I didn't realize just what he does here and, and now I feel better about this, this project than ever before. He is com completely committed to these kids and the community and um, I'm hoping we can build on this and he can get some more community support to do some other really cool things that he's looking to do here. So we're super excited. Hi, I'm Anthony from the Marathon Recreation Center, and we're here today uh, for the sport court. This is going to be the grand opening and the ribbon cutting, and it, we are so excited. And um, just to tell you a little bit about what we do here is um, we have the after school care here. After school kids come in, and they've already started coming in today. And um, this is just going to be wonderful for them. You know, the court is beautiful. And um, we're gonna have maybe about 45 kids come in today from over at uh, Switley School. And, um, and we're just gonna have a great day here today. You know, we're gonna shoot some hoops after all the ceremony is done. And um, we're just gonna have a great time. I was able to meet Nancy Lieberman. What a great effort she has done, along with the deputies and all the hard work that the City of Marathon have put on to get this new flooring so the kids have a place to play basketball, a place that wasn't damaged during the hurricane. We are very, very lucky to have this here in town, and I'm very proud to be here for the dedication today. So uh, hopefully we'll see these uh, some of these people like in Miami Heat uniforms and uh, making sure we get more rings for the home team down here. Yeah, on behalf of the Greater Marathon Chamber of Commerce and the Board of Directors, love being at these types of events. Uh, obviously a win-win for our community. Uh, this Dream Court provided by Nancy Lieberman Charities, where she's, uh, she's done over 50 of these now around the country. Just a great opportunity to connect our youth to an amazing sport, uh, promote healthy living and lifestyle, and getting the community involved once again. The City of Marathon was instrumental with this with our Marathon Rec Center, as was the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. So I want to personally, on behalf of the Marathon Chamber of Commerce, thank the uh, Monroe County Sheriff's Office, Sheriff Ramsey, as well as our City of Marathon, and of course, Nancy Lieberman Charities for the Dream Court. I'd just like to thank the Lieberman Foundation for bringing out this court and, uh, and treating our kids and our community to this, uh, this wonderful thing. 
and um, what a great event it's going to be. And Mr. Anthony and Miss Diane are fantastic role models for these kids. They give them a nice safe place uh, to come after school and uh, they help them with their homework. They take on a monumental task with these kids. They usually have 60 kids uh, in the program at any time and, and they get, make time for all of them. They, they sit down and help them with their homework and everything and, uh, and let them get some physical exercise and things here uh, at the rec center. And I'm just really happy that we have this resource available to us in Marathon. It's really important for our kids, uh, mine especially, and uh, just so happy to be here for this, for this uh, dedication today. This is a dream that came true because of the hard work and dedication of Nancy Lieberman and her charities, and also from Bobby White and the Basketball Cop, and also from our own local Sheriff's Department and Officer James Hager. Without them, this would not be possible. And then, of course, without Anthony and Diane Culver and all of the love and sweat and tears they have put into this Marathon Rec Center for all the years they've been here, loving on the children, again, we wouldn't be here. Thank you also to our city staff who worked tirelessly to help put this all together as well. What an honor. Thank you so very much for your dedication to continue making children have a safe place to live and play. It's an honor to be here. Marathon is absolutely beautiful and Michelle, thank you. I mean, being the mayor is one thing, being a human being who cares about her community and gives credit to everybody. You know, this is a super team here in Marathon today. So we're honored to be here. Uh, just, we feel blessed to be a part of your vision. So thank you. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. And let's play ball. Hey, this is uh, Captain Don Hiller with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. I'm with my Sergeant James Hager. Uh, Sergeant Hager is, uh, took the initiative and spearheaded this whole project. It's a fabulous, fabulous event for the community. It's great for Marathon. It's great for uh, the whole Monroe County, actually. Everybody can benefit from this great thing. Hey, uh, we're here this afternoon. It's a wonderful day for the city of Marathon. We're very thankful for the Nan Nancy Lieberman Foundation, all of our sheriffs, basketball cop, uh, city staff, <clears throat> everybody that's worked so hard to put this uh, court here for our rec, uh, rec center. It's going to be an outstanding uh, addition to our community. It's going to be a wonderful thing for our children and uh, we look forward to playing ball here for years to come. Well, I see now that this is right next to our grammar school, Switlick. We have to keep an eye on the kids. I'm sure they're going to want to sneak out every day and come over here and play basketball. Well, if they become basketball stars and they come back and give to the community, it'll be a good thing. We'll be happy for that. But this is a great thing for this community. They need it. They deserve it. And uh, we have to thank Nancy Lieberman and all the organizations that brought this to us. Hello, everybody. Mike Pudo, Mr. Marathon. And we want to thank Anthony and his wife, Diane, for a great job that they do here at the Marathon Rec Center. You can see the kids behind me are playing on the new basketball court. And a lot of work went in for the Rec Center. They've been here for over 30 years working with the children and working on their school programs, making sure that they get their education, making sure they get their homework done. It's a great team, it's a great board, it's great for the community. Until next time. Marathon Rec Center rocks!